When it comes to useful apps, you can consider Gmail as one. It's one of the best alternative email platforms to the stock mail app on your iPhone. However, it seems like some iPhone SE2 owners have started having issues with it shortly after the iOS 14 update. In this video, we will show you what to do if Gmail keeps freezing on your iPhone SE2 after a firmware update. First solution, close Gmail and force restart your iPhone. Most of the time, app crashes are minor app issues. They occur every now and then but they're not necessarily hard to fix. In fact, closing the app in question and reopening it might fix the issue, but it's best to also refresh your device's memory. So here's what you need to do. Double press the home button to view the app previews. Now, swipe up on the Gmail preview to close it. Do the same to other apps. To force restart your iPhone, quickly press and release the volume up and the volume down buttons. Immediately after that, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds. This will trigger your iPhone to shut down and power back up. When the logo shows, release the power key and wait until the device has finished rebooting. Once the reboot is finished, try opening Gmail and see if it still crashes. Second solution, uninstall Gmail and reinstall it. Another effective solution to this problem is uninstalling the app in question. Doing so will remove all its associations with the firmware and other apps. After that, reinstall the app to make sure you have the latest version. Here's how you do those things. Go to the screen where the Gmail icon is located. Tap and hold on its icon until options show. Tap remove app. Touch delete app to uninstall it. Tap delete to confirm the deletion of the app. Go back to the home screen. Launch the app store. Search for Gmail, and then tap the install icon. Wait for the app to be successfully installed on your iPhone. When the installation is finished, tap open to launch it. Most of the time, these are the only things you need to do to fix an app that keeps on crashing. However, if for some reason the problem continues, then you have to do the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. A reset will be able to fix this problem but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted and you may not be able to retrieve them. When ready, follow these steps. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap erase all contents and settings. Tap erase now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.